All right, so this is chapter nine, section two, arithmetic sequences. Our learning objective is to define, identify, and apply arithmetic sequences. Um, the easy definition for arithmetic sequences is we increase by the same amount each time. The algebra definition says if I have my first, if my first term is A, then my second term is A plus B, and my third term is A plus 2D, and my fourth term is A plus 3D and so on, where D is my common difference. Recursively, it looks like, so remember, any recursive formula you have to identify your first term. So A1 is A. And then to get from term to term, you go your previous term plus whatever your common difference is. Our explicit formula is the first term plus n minus 1 in parentheses times the common difference. information to some examples. So if I have a sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, I need to identify is this arithmetic or not arithmetic. If it is, let's write, let's find the common difference. So for the first two we're going to identify and find the common difference. So we need to see, is there, are we increasing by the same amount each time? For A, we are not, so there is no common difference, not arithmetic. B, we have 4 and 5 and not, 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 plus 4 is 13 and 13 plus 4 is 17. So in this case we are, yes, it's arithmetic, and our common difference is oh. All right, so now let's start applying this. What is the 46th term of the arithmetic sequence? 3, 5, 7. Um, so they tell us it's arithmetic. Thankfully, we don't have to waste any energy on that. Um, anytime I have a large term, I always want to go explicit formula. So let me write the generic explicit formula down and see what information we have to gather to fill it in. So if I want to find the nth term, I'm going to have to take the first term 
I have to find the common difference and multiply it by n minus 1. So, I can identify the first term. It is 3. I'm just writing my explicit formula, so I don't need an exact value for n yet. And then what is my common difference? 2. So we are increasing by 2 each time. So now if I want to find the 46th term, I would take 46 and plug it in for n. So the 46th term is 46 minus 1 is a 4 to 5, times 2 is 90, plus 3 is 9 to 3. Boom, boom, boom. Answer the question, check. So we're going to have to start getting clever, because if we know what we increase by each time, if we know it's arithmetic, then they're going to start giving us scenarios where they're not clearly defined. So in this case for D, fill in the blanks of this arithmetic sequence, 80 comma something comma something comma 125. The only thing I know is that it's the same increment every time. So let's find what the difference is from 80 to 125. <coughs> I think that's 45. So if I go 125 minus 80. So my total distance, my total difference between, and I will, we'll double check just in case. Just in case we're crazy talking. So 125 minus 80 is 45. So I need to increase in the same increment every time. And I, I look at it like this. If I increase by tens, so if I went 80 and I did 10 more, that would be 90. I did 10 more, that would be 100. I did 10 more, that would be 110. So increasing by tens doesn't work. If I increase by 20s, 80 plus 20 is 100, plus 20 is 120, plus 20 is 140. So 10 doesn't work, too small. 20 doesn't work, too big. What's in the middle with that? 15, so let's see if I do increments of 15. So that would be 95, 95 and 15, and. 10, and then 125. Okay, so then let's do a little double check to make sure we're complying with all the forces of math. So I'm increasing by 15 three different times. Is that equal to 45? 15 plus 15 plus 15. Yeah. Awesome. <coughs> so we use the properties of arithmetic sequences to kind of fill in the missing blanks. All right. So the last scenario you guys are going to encounter is something we call the arithmetic mean. And the arithmetic mean is the average of two numbers and it's written as x plus y divided by 2. I know this seems like it should be harder but it really is not. We've been doing average for a really long time. So if we're going to fill in the blank of an arithmetic sequence, I have 98 something, 66, I want to fill in that blank. So I am not going to do anything harder than taking these two numbers and dividing by 2. 
think it's, I got 164. Cut it in half and I got 82. I did all that mental math yesterday, so. So I'm gonna, I got 82 and I'm just gonna run a little check because sometimes uh, my math is not so good. Uh, just to make sure I have the same difference between these guys. So 98 minus 82 is 16 and is the difference is 82 minus 66 is that 16? Double so check because there's some carrying that goes on. So 82 minus 66. Oh yeah. Yay. Hey. So the answer to A is 82. And aside from a couple of word problems, which they have a really good example of in your book.